can you uh, tell me the name of your team and introduce the members, please? Well, our team, uh, we don't actually have a name. We've been going by Team 9 for the reign of the term. And uh, over here, we've got Dr. Zayas. That's uh, Danny. And uh, this is our payload specialist, Will. Behind us, we've got Brian. I'm Chris, the pilot. And this is Tom. All right, great. Well, you made it this far. How, how are you feeling? Uh, we're, we're ecstatic. Our goal was to go over five minutes. We made it past six minutes. And uh, we're just really proud to be out here representing our team and all the hard work we put into this project. So you guys are sitting in first place right now? We're, we're sitting on top of the world. It's, it's scary. There's a lot of ways to fall off, but uh, we're really proud to be here. Yeah. Well, your, your uh, toughest competition came real close to uh, beating you a few minutes ago. <laughs> so what, what's been your strategy for uh, being so dominant in this competition? Uh, mainly the, our strategy has been to keep the thrust level as low as possible to maintain battery power. To accomplish that, we've uh, reduced drag and increased lift. So how did you achieve that? What's the most notable design feature? I think, Will, you should talk about our, uh, our proudest moment. Well, yeah, the uh, streamlined uh, uh, fuselage and uh, egg compartment helps us minimize drag as much as possible so that we can fly at a lower flight velocity. In addition, we have a, 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 cambered wing. a highly cambered wing created by uh, Danny and Tom here that is really good at producing a lot of lift at low speeds. So, you've been working on this project as a team for most of the semester. What, what's been the most enjoyable part of the process? I'd say just hanging out with these guys and working together as a team has been one of the greatest pleasures in my life. Agree. And, and what's been the toughest part about engineering your system? Uh, we have meetings at 12 o'clock on Saturday morning, and uh, <laughs> that's hard to do, I'll tell you what. <laughs> but overall, I'd say that the, uh, the overall system architecture is really hard because uh, one change in the tail will affect the rest of the, the system, and one change in the wing will affect the rest of the system. So you have to do an iterative process that contains all aspects of the system because it's such so interconnected. Well, good luck with the flight. Thanks for talking to us. Thanks. Thanks.